that God has given to us for waking up and being strong. Many went to bed last night and couldn't get up again. Some went to bed, woke up sick, not knowing what is going on with their system. But God in his infinite mercy has given us strength, life, Praise his name. Say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for allowing me to sleep last night, to helping me to sleep. There is a pandemic of sleeplessness going on in the world. People cannot sleep. But the Bible says God giveth his beloved sleep. Hallelujah. Sleeping is a gift. So give God thanks. Say, Lord, I thank you for this wonderful gift. In the name of Jesus Christ. And this morning, we're going to engage our tongues in faith. Declaring... And this morning will be a good morning. This morning will be a great morning. This morning will be a morning of joy. This morning will bring satisfaction to your soul. This morning will bring favor and grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to read some scriptures before we pray. Proverbs chapter 18. From verse 20. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. A man's belly. Your belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of your mouth. Now, when, I, when we talk about belly, it's not the Bible doesn't mean the stomach where your food goes in. It's talking about your soul. It's talking about your spirit. Glory to God. Your soul is blind until your mouth speaks. Your soul is dormant. Your spirit is dormant until your mouth begin to speak. And I want you this morning to learn that your tongue is a very powerful tool that you have. Tongue. Your tongue is not just to eat ice cream and eat food and eat nice food or talking all kind of talks. That's why you need to bridle your tongue. You need to let your tongue speak.
speak intelligently, not as in being educated, but speak according to spiritual intelligence. And we cannot enter into this realm until we begin to discover some hard truth a mystery in the scripture. Hard truth does not satisfy the soulish realm until you are in God until you understand who God is. You will know that every scripture has a code that is suspending that word. The word of God has a code that is holding it. But it happens and you can only decode by your tongue. Your tongue has to speak what God says. Until your heart, your soul begin to respond to the word of your mouth, nothing happens. That's why we teach faith. We say this morning, you're not going to be talking like ordinary person. You're going to be speaking. The Bible said the tongue, the power of life and death. What are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to yourself? Glory to God. We're not talking about what people are saying about you. Or what people are, people's hearts, their wish. You know, people can wish you anything. They can sit down and begin to wish that this person will never be well. This person, it will never be well with you. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes you run into the corridor of offense. You make people, you, you offend people. You, once you offend them, they want you dead. They want you to die. They begin to wish you all kind of things. And when you make them well, they begin to wish you life. But it's not about wishing. It's not about what they are saying. It's about what you are speaking to yourself. According to the word of God. The power you have is over yourself. What are you speaking to yourself? It doesn't matter what people are saying about you or what they have wished. There's a saying that says, if wishes are horses, even the poor will be riding on it because they wish all things. But it's not. You may wish. People will wish people they like well. Doesn't mean that all of them will get well. The same thing they wish people that they don't like dead. But they won't die. Because they are not the owner of that life. But yourself, yourself, listening to me this morning, what are you saying to yourself? The power of life and death is in the tongue. And those who discover the fruit of this mouth, with increase of their lips shall fill their belly. Increase of your lips. Don't stop saying it. Glory to God. Don't stop saying it. Meaning that your lips has to continue to confess that it is well with me. It is well with me. I have not seen a strong man than me. 
I will make it. And I am making it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is with me. And promise to be with me. Until the end of time. The Lord is with my children. No one has the ability to hurt them. The Lord is with me. At any time you begin to think, only thinking evil about me will bring, bring you down. We bring you into a realm of confusion and life disarrangement. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You need to begin to speak. You need to begin to put yourself Put your tongue in a fruitful manner so that your soul will be filled. The Bible says, those who discover this power of tongue, those who discover it, shall be satisfied with the fruit of their mouth and with the increase of their lips. They shall Feel their soul. Ma calibra no pata. Is it not the same scripture that says in the book of Mark, chapter 11 and verse 23? It says that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall receive whatsoever he saith. He, he said, Believing in your heart. I want to teach you this morning. You believe, don't speak, don't let your mouth say it is well with you, but inside your soul, he said, Oh my God. Uh, a, uh, a dead person is better than me right now. I don't know what is going to happen to me. I, I think the whole world is against me. Do you realize that when you begin to think that the whole world is against you, even the air, you'll be afraid of every sound around you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The power of the tongue. The power of the tongue for yourself. Some people have killed themselves by themselves. By the song they sang. By the confession they make. By the word they speak. By what they say to themselves and to their children and to their family. They kill them. People kill their children even before they die. They keep saying it. Keep saying it. Glory to God. You need to change your speaking. Glory to God. Confession. What you say. What you say. Hallelujah. That's another day of telling you how to use your tongue on your children. Of course, sometimes they will make you very upset. It's better you smack that child than speaking evil or speaking a word that will hold him. When that child has not discovered or know the power of life that is embedded and the tongue, and how to use it, and how to use it to manufacture fruits that will fill his belly, that will satisfy his belly, that will make him 
fly instead of walking. Instead of running, he's flying. Glory to God. We're going to pray. But I want you to understand it. I want you to understand it. People that understand it knows. You will know that you are carved out for success. Not just ordinary success. Good success. Very powerful success. Even people around you they don't understand how. But you're succeeding. You got to do that. Glory to God. My, my father called me one day and said, Hey, whatever, whatever you put your hand to do from this day, you will survive, you will succeed. You will be excellently successful. I said, thank you, daddy. Glory to God. Before he passed on, I want to, there are things and, and then you discover the power, that the power in the tongue. Why are you saying to yourself that you will not make it? Why are you saying to yourself that you are better dead? Why? God has given you the opportunity to speak. Remember, Jesus says, the word I speak to you, they are life and they are spirit. They are not ordinary words. They are not. Anytime your word is defeated, that's why you need to be careful of what you are listening to and what you are watching. Be conscious of it. Don't stay around those that will tell you every time you want to do something, they will tell you, oh, it will not work out. I know people that try to do it, it never work out. Glory to God. Don't listen to that. You are a different species. If it doesn't work out for that person, that doesn't mean it will not work out for you. Have you tried it? Speak for yourself. Whatever, whatever they are telling you, speak opposite of it. There are people, you don't, don't, don't make them close, very close to you. Those that will ever tell you, this thing will not work out. Anytime you project a business, this will not work out. I know people that do it and they never work out. Stop going to them. Go to people that will tell you to work out. In fact, if you don't find anybody, stay with God and begin to tell yourself it will work out. You see it. You see it happening. Many people have told me something will not work out. I don't listen to that. When the Lord said, do it. Don't listen. Don't start going around trying to find advice. Trying to People are full of negative thoughts. Negative. No matter who the person is, they are full of it. They are so full of it. So do not stay with those that will destroy the fruit of your lips. The fruit of your tongue. And make sure that your belly is not satisfied. Your belly keep wanting. That's how people take people, you know, those that are very feeble in their mind. They take them for slavery. They bound them. And you think you owe them anything. They will hold you and make sure that they destroy your destiny. They will hold you and make sure that you don't go anywhere. Don't listen to that. Do not. Because when God carved you out, everything you need to be successful is embedded in you. Glory to God. Don't listen to that. And when you begin to pray and speak as the Lord wants you, He will bring people that will help. Not people that will destroy you. You know, people will be helping you until you actually receive help from God. 
then they will cock their, they will start finding a way to destroy you. You are succeeding too much. How can you be successful like this? They want to destroy out of deep jealousy and envy. Wicked, deep. Oh, I've been here for 20 years. I've been here for 50 years. Is, it, is that my business? You can be here for 170 years. We don't care. I want you to understand that people have that mentality to ensure that, oh, he's about to pass me. Deep jealousy. They want to have what you have and they're not getting it. They will ensure. You know, that streams down to jealousy, envy, and then constantly monitoring and angry. So what am I saying? Reprogram their program. Open your mouth. Don't keep quiet. Listen, open your mouth. Begin to speak. It is well with me. I will fulfill my purpose. I will do whatever the Lord wants me to do. Whoever, however he has set me up, I will do it in the name of Jesus Christ. My children will fulfill their destiny. No man, no woman under heaven, in heaven, wherever has the ability of stopping me fulfilling my destiny or stopping my children fulfilling their destiny or stopping my family moving forward. There's no man anywhere under heaven, under heaven that has the ability. You are the one. When you begin to speak these words, when you begin to confess this word, he said, if you believe it in your heart, what does that mean? Sometimes you speak something, but your heart has not received it. Sometimes it takes years for your heart to receive it before you see the fulfillment. But learn that as you are speaking it, your heart is receiving it. Two shall not move except they agree. You, the fruit of your mouth, which means the word that you speak, and your heart, if they don't agree, they can't go anywhere. I want you to understand, the two that we are looking for is not another partner. The two we are looking for is you, your word, and your heart have to come in agreement, and they can move forward. This morning I pray that your heart will begin to receive the word. That's why reprogram yourself. Stop speaking. Stop speaking evil. Don't speak evil of no man. Oh man. Leave them alone. Just leave them. Don't talk about them. Talk about yourself. You spend all the time talking about people. Have you spoken about yourself today? Say, Lord, as I'm looking in this mirror, the man I'm seeing. Is successful. Mm -hmm. The man I'm seeing is making it. The man I'm seeing will never lose. The man I'm seeing will gain every gain, both spiritual gain and physical gain that has been deposited for me today. I will harness it. I will take it. Mm -hmm. I will operate in full power mm -hmm. of God in the name of Jesus. Healing is mine. I am, I am operating in the highest level of spiritual movement. In the name of Jesus Christ. No man can bring me down. Any man thinking about bringing me down will be down in my place. Never see anything like that. Has never seen things happening the way it will happen to him or her. I want you to pray this morning. Say, Lord, let the fruit of my mouth begin to yield increase. Open your mouth. Let the fruit of my mouth begin to yield increase. Let the fruit of my mouth begin to satisfy my soul. Let the fruit of my mouth begin to satisfy my soul in the name of Jesus Christ, according to your word. I give you glory this morning. As I'm going about my business, as I'm engaging myself 
in the life events of today, the fruit of my mouth shall satisfy my soul, shall bring increase to my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Mighty God, I pray there are two persons whose mouth constantly, you constantly speak about people. You constantly, you, you, you don't mind your business. You, you, you talk about other people's business more than yours. Right now, the Lord is giving you a chance to say, Lord, help me. Let me mind my business. Let me speak life. Let me speak life to my life. To my life. Let my heart agree with the word of life in my mouth. That today I will begin to be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Giving glory to God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, I cover everyone under the sound of my voice with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you. 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 I cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. No accident. No accident. No gunshot. No gun women or gun men attacking your zone, attacking you, attacking the supermarket, attacking the schools. I cover every school with the blood of Jesus Christ. Under the spiritual zone, in your state, in your community, I cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray that no accident, no death in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for healing upon everyone that is feeling sick. I want you to put your hand on your head. There is somebody feeling so feverish right now. You feel as if you are cold. Let the power of God flow through you. I heal every sickness. Mighty God, heal even those that will listen after. As they hear in my voice, let the healing power of God flow through them. I heal them completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. In Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. God bless you